the principle of commitment to the future. In the deliberative dialogues we held as part of these studies, we heard people continually reflect upon an uncertain future. Their reflections were twofold. First, they felt that it was a promising practice to structure global health research beyond the limited vision of short-term project cycles, looking to build and maintain long-term relationships where research can serve as a tool to leverage equity. They also emphasized how global health research ought to contribute to a more equitable future for future generations. As a research team, we have been inspired by the seventh generation principle, an Iroquois philosophy emphasizing that the implications of today's decisions must be anticipated and understood as far as seven generations, that's about 240 years, into the future. We encourage those involved in research to reflect on questions like, how will this research contribute to a more equitable future? How are constructs and contexts of global connectivity considered in our research? How can we effectively think forward beyond projects toward long-term relationships about capacity, mentoring, and the next generations? The Principle of Responsiveness to Causes of Inequities Responsiveness to causes of inequities as a principle is essentially about our efforts to not only seek awareness of the complex roots of inequities, but to act on these roots whenever possible. We invite a practice of constant critical reflection, asking ourselves why and how we might do things that challenge, destabilize, or disrupt the roots of inequities. It may be as simple as structuring research questions in ways that examine rather than accept something like poverty as an inevitable contextual element. To pursue this principle, we can, for example, ensure that we ask questions about inequities and their causes as part of our literature reviews, context analyses, research questions, knowledge translation planning, or other aspects of doing or using research. The questions we must ask ourselves focus on the roots of inequities. What are the causes and the roots of the causes of the inequities related to our research issue? What are the implications of responding to those often complex causes? How can we acknowledge the avoidable nature of inequities? That is, poverty is not an inevitability or a product of geography. How can we actively respond to the implications of the roots of inequities? And how do we ensure inequities are not perpetuated by research? The Principle of Humility The principle of humility is intended to encourage the adoption of a modest, self-aware, and learning-centered stance in research. It is about approaching ourselves in a position of learning rather than knowing, of seeking to understand complexity and diversity in norms rather than inadvertently imposing our norms on others. For this principle, our reflective questions are introspective. Who are we in this research context? How are we positioning ourselves in this research in order to learn rather than to know? How can we effectively explore who we are in relationship to the research and to others involved or connected to that research? How can we promote reflection and self-awareness, that is, how do personal and collective values manifest in decisions, priorities, and actions related to research?